Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your man James, aka JP, back again with another toy room video. Uh, so, today we're going to be taking a look at my basketball jersey, my NBA, or not all NBA, but basically my basketball jersey collection or whatever other variations of jerseys that I have in my collection. Somebody asked me to make this video a very long time ago. And I completely forgot about it. I picked up a jersey today at the thrift store. So I was thinking about it while I just hung it up in the closet. So I set everything up. And uh, we'll go ahead and just get right into it. Um, a majority of my jerseys are Miami Heat jerseys. Uh, just mainly because I am in uh, South Florida. So that's basically what I find at the thrift stores. Like probably 80% of all these jerseys have been thrifted. Um, I'll start with... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where... Okay, so I have this white side Miami Vice uh, shirt right here because I didn't want to pay for the jersey. Uh, but once Wade came back, I ordered the Miami Vice away jersey. I'm just waiting for that to come in the mail at some point. So if you guys know me, you know Wade is my favorite player. Uh, case in point, I have the Cavaliers uh, shirt only because I spent a lot of money uh, buying you know Wade's jersey and other Wade shirts when he came back to Miami that I didn't want to spend another 50 or 60 dollars on a Cavaliers jersey so I settled for the shirt uh, now getting into the actual jerseys I, I hope you guys can see this my camera orientation is horrible it, it was a hard setup trying to get all this in the shop but I got this bad boy Biggie Smalls jersey right here so that's pretty cool uh, this one I got off of eBay it was like twenty dollars I think because I went to the bad boy family reunion tour so I ordered that for that this was really cool I found this at the thrift store it's uh, I forgot the name of this company um, I completely forget the name of this company but it's like a skateboard company but we got the Fresh Prince right here Will Smith little jersey so I found that at the thrift store for a couple of dollars moving those over now I have the vintage uh, champion toon squad jersey this is the original one that came out back in the 90s no name on the back because that's how they came um, and this one I've actually just had this used to be my older brothers uh, when he was young so this has just been in my collection and then I have the uh, Halloween what store is this I forgot what store the Halloween store that pops up every uh, every Halloween so this is actually part of a Halloween costume I just noticed there's a stain on here, so I have to wash this. Uh, but it's another Toon Squad jersey. Space Jam right down there. No name on the back, number zero. So this would technically be the Taz jersey. Uh, so that is that. All right, so now I have this Mitchell and Ness little Miami Heat throwback-esque uh, looking jersey. So that's pretty cool. Nothing on the back, just the front. But it's styled after the 90s uh, Heat jerseys with the old school 90s logo right there. And I got this on clearance for like $20 a few years back. Uh, so that is that. Now I have, uh, this was thrifted. This is a Miami Heat uh, Adidas uh, LeBron jersey with like, it's a special edition. It says right down here on the patch limited edition. You can see that right there. It's got this crazy design on the back. All the numbers and letters are blacked out with red trim. So I thought that was pretty cool. Again, that was just a couple dollars. And then another uh, LeBron jersey is the uh, the black uh, was the black suit or whatever the black tie. I forgot what theme they're going for with this, uh, but it's the all black with the white trim, a uh, little carbon fiber looking design on the numbers, which is really cool. So I thought that was really nice. This was also thrifted. All of these jerseys that I'm saying are thrifted were pretty much like four to six dollars range. Uh, another LeBron jersey. This is just a standard away jersey right here. Had some stains on the letters, but nothing too crazy. So, you know, for a couple of dollars, I wasn't going to pass that up. I actually did a restoration on this. Uh, so all of the red was actually faded. It was like a pink. Uh, I guess this person washed the jersey a lot, uh, which is where that stain's coming from on there. It's the red bleeding off into the white. But I don't really wear it that much. It's just kind of in the collection, so not a big deal. Uh, then this was a Christmas present uh, from my boss. This is a Adidas white side jersey. Uh, it's a size too big, so I don't really wear it. I've worn it maybe twice, but it's a medium. I'm skinny, so I wear a small. Uh, so we got that. And then this was the first jersey that I ever paid 
like full price for actually this might have been the first jersey in my collection uh once wade left miami and the jerseys went on clearance i went and uh paid like 55 60 dollars for this it's just your standard home jersey so that is really nice I've worn that a bunch of times to many games and then we have this adidas like silk uh satin or silk jersey these are the more expensive ones and i actually uh got this at the thrift for a couple dollars so that one's really nice you can see that shininess on there so that's pretty cool uh and then as soon as wade left the bulls you guys can see my pattern here i wait till he leaves the team in order to get the jersey because i get the jerseys half off the following day that's a tip for you guys if you're into jersey collecting as soon as your player gets traded or leaves signs to another team the next day their jerseys will be on clearance so you can get them for half price uh so i got the uh, the chicago bulls away red way jersey so i really like this this might be my favorite jersey in my collection i just love the bulls design uh, but i am a miami heat fan and a Dwayne wade fan so uh this was a, a crazy find at the thrift store larry bird adidas throwback hardwood classics uh celtics jersey and this was the most i ever paid at the thrift for a jersey i believe this was forty dollars uh, but I did have some coupons, so I think I bumped it down to about 30 But it was in brand new, uh, no stains, brand new condition. The white was still white, so that was really, really cool. So that worked out there. And then I thought this was a unique jersey that I also thrifted. Uh, this was a Dallas Mavericks uh, Dirk jersey, and it's like this alternate, like, kind of, not, not really a camo, but it's got this weird design on it. But I just thought it looked really cool. It was different. And at the end of the day, yes, I am a Miami Heat fan, but I will pick up other jerseys um, just because I, I collect different jerseys. So we got that Dirk jersey right there. And I got this vintage Reggie Miller champion jersey, which uh, I did a restoration on this. If you haven't seen that, be sure to check it out. I'll leave a, a card up top for you guys. But this jersey like was destroyed. You can see some of the cracking in there but all of this was cracked i repainted all of this so it came out really really good i'm really happy with that uh this was another insane find at the thrift orlando magic vintage champion shack jersey and pretty much flawless condition no cracking anywhere not really any bacon neck going on uh there's some cracking back here but i decided to leave it i, I didn't want to mess this up this is another one of my favorite jerseys so I didn't want to take a risk messing this up. But the Reggie Miller, I didn't care as much because it was already in pretty bad shape. So now I have a Vince Carter jersey that I got from eBay. Uh, this is a knockoff jersey. Um, you can tell because the colors are inverted. Um, so where these purple stripes are, they're supposed to be red. And where these red stripes are, they're supposed to be purple. And the gray is just a little darker. But I got this on eBay for like $20. I don't really wear it much. Um, but I thought it was just really cool to have in my collection. So I got that. This is my only knockoff uh, jersey that I own. Uh, and this was the jersey that I just found today. This was my Dwight Howard um, Magic Away jersey. So that was pretty cool. I love the pinstripes on this Magic jersey. Got that. And then I have another Orlando Magic jersey. And I actually got this when I was up in Orlando at a thrift store. So it's a Tracy McGrady Magic jersey. Uh, it's in pretty bad shape. Not horrible shape, but you can see the uh, the stars are faded and the text is sort of faded. I restored the black. I just got to do the silver. I need to get a silver Sharpie. But you can see it's got a lot of bacon neck going on. Um, so just not the best looking jersey, but it was T-Mac. It was like $2. I, I couldn't pass that up. Uh, so that is that. Then I have this Kobe Bryant Lakers jersey on uh, number eight Kobe. So this is a real throwback right here. Um, the only thing with this, it's a youth XL. So it does fit a little small on me. So I don't really wear it, but I was, I had to pick it up for the collection for just a couple dollars. So that is that. And then I also thrifted this one. This is a, uh, this is another youth. I believe this is a youth uh, large. I'm not sure, but it's a Denver Nuggets. Uh, mellow jersey it's like this alternate logo on the front which is really cool it's like a throwback so that's really really nice um i needed to restore this the blue was faded and this black is faded i did restore the black but i couldn't match the blue up so i just left it and i don't really wear it, it does have bacon neck i just have it for the collection uh and then i have 
this isn't any basketball jersey or anything. It's a dead mouse jersey. Uh, but I just thought the colors on this were really, really cool. The purple with this bright, like, teal turquoise and the yellow. Uh, I thought I thought it looked really nice. It looks like an old school, like, um, New Orleans Jazz or a Utah Jazz throwback. Uh, yes, that is New Orleans Jazz. I did say that correctly. Look it up if you don't know. But I just thought this looked really cool. It goes great with my great fives. So I had to keep that in the collection. And... Oh man, we still got a bunch of jerseys. Okay, so we have this Jordan, North Carolina, Michael Jordan, alternate away. This isn't, I don't even think this is an official colorway, but it's a black uh, away jersey. I think their away jerseys are normally the, dark, or the blue, the UNC blue, but it's a Jordan jersey. It's his college. I had to, to get that, and that was also thrifted. This was thrifted, I thought this was pretty cool. It's a Georgia Tech, uh, Stefan Marbury college jersey. So that was awesome, and it's the Starberry brand, so that's nice, and then, Jesus Christ, okay, so, I got, I've had this since I was a kid, this is a, a Shaq Heat Reebok jersey, nothing special about that one, and then I have a Dwayne Wade, uh, I think this was a Christmas jersey, this was thrifted, it's too big for me, but I thought it was pretty cool for a couple dollars, uh, then I have another Shaq uh, jersey. This is an official one. The other one is a replica, but this is the official one right here. This is a Youth XL. Uh, I wore this to his jersey retirement game that I went to. Uh, I just needed a jersey, so I ordered that off eBay for I don't know how much. It wasn't that much. Uh, then I have this throwback. This is a freaking. This is a 2XL, but I found this at the thrift. I had to get it for I think this was six dollars. LeBron James Cleveland throwback. So that was cool. And I found all of these coming up right here in the same thrift in the, at, at the same time. I'll, I'll leave the clip if I have it um, for you guys. But I got a Wade Marquette jersey, which is awesome. But unfortunately, again, is this is a 2X. Uh, I don't know, someone, some big person donated all of their, uh, their jerseys. I uh, got the white hot LeBron jersey again in a 2X, so that does not fit me. And okay, last two right here. I got a Darren Williams Brooklyn Nets jersey. I got this when he got traded uh, just because it said Brooklyn and I'm from Brooklyn. I was born in Brooklyn, so I had to have that. And then this isn't really a jersey. It's just weird like warm up shirt for the New York Knicks. It's a Stoudemire. So I thought that was pretty cool. And that pretty much wraps it up. I had a lot more than I actually thought because I don't wear any of these 2XLs. I only really wear this portion right here and the others just kind of sit in the back of my closet. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is long overdue. This is probably like a year overdue. So uh, if you guys want to see any more of my, my collection other than toys and video games, I collect basketball jerseys. I have a sneaker collection. Uh, if you guys want to see my sneaker collection, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe, you share this video with your friends. You hit that notification bell so you can stay tuned to all my other videos. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, as always, see you guys next time.